I'm gonna be talking about the Blue Eddy EP800 and the B500 batteries. We're gonna talk about what applications that I think most people would use this for and actually explore what I'm using it for. We'll talk about the production that we've gotten out of this over the last month or so, so some long-term testing, and I'll show you inside the app for that. And then I also wanna talk more in depth about the ROI, the return on investment. This can actually pay for itself in less than four and a half years depending on your situation. And we'll get more in depth of that a little bit later in the video. Hey, it's Justin from Justice Project. And on this channel, I focus on testing all sorts of energy related products and building out a sustainable lifestyle. If you're into those type of things, consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to stick around. Hopefully I can teach you something cool about the EP800 and these B500 batteries. First, I wanna start this discussion with talking about what you would possibly use the EP800 for. Now this can be used as an off-grid system. It was designed so you could power an off-grid a property with this with no problem. You have 9,000 watts of inputs from solar that it could power and output of 7,600 watts. So it could definitely handle a small house or something like that with no problem. Now we're using this as a backup system. So a lot of people might just want to use it as a backup to your AC uh, already um, installed solar system. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're using this as the backup. So when the power goes out and we've had three instances in the last month where this kicked on and kept the house powered even when the power was out. And we really didn't realize that until we look inside the app and see actually when the power has dropped over time. <laughs> so it's really cool to have that type of functionality that switches over in a matter of 20 milliseconds. And that's really quick, so you don't even really notice anything going on. Now the next thing that a lot of people might use this for is peak pricing. You could offset your utility bill with this by setting your time of use. And I've discussed that in previous videos. So if you wanna learn more about that, be sure to check out my other uh, Blue Eddy EP800 uh, videos that I've put out in the past, and I'll talk more about that in depth. And this system can easily power all the lights in your property, uh, refrigerators, freezers, washer, dryer, and even hot water heaters, and do it all at the same time. And a matter of fact, if we look inside of, of the electrical panel, what I'm actually powering is all the plugs that are in my garage, the living room plugs, the kitchen plugs, the garage and hallway lights, the bathroom plugs, the master bedroom, the hot water heater, which is a 240 volt, 30 amp hot water heater, which is right there, uh, the kitchen and living room lights, the refrigerator, and both uh, bedrooms that we have on this property. So it is almost backing up the entire property on just this 50 amp box. So 50 amps can run a lot of juice through it. I've installed this inside of my garage, but this is NEMA 4X rated on both the EP800 inverter and the B500 batteries. So this can be installed indoors or outdoors. If you're gonna install it outdoors, it is recommended that you buy the Blue Eddy shed that is designed for this unit as well. Uh, maybe to protect it from UV rays or something of that sort, but it is NEMA 4X rated. And that basically means you can use it indoors and outdoors and it protects it from uh, water and different elements that it's gonna encounter when it's outside. In my application, I've got the uh, EP800 connected to 2400 watts of solar, and it does a great job of charging the batteries on those sunny days. Now, I don't live in the most uh, sunny area in the United States. I live in central Kentucky, and we get a decent amount of sunshine, but nothing like you would see out in Arizona or down in Florida or different parts of the world where you just get a lot of sunshine throughout the year. Now, in the winter, we don't get much. We, uh, I'm actually recording this late winter, early spring, and we have seen some cloudy days and we've seen some really sunny days. And over the last 30 days, we've produced enough to keep this going uh, to charge the batteries pretty much completely off grid for those circuits I was talking about earlier. Now, if you max this out at the 9,000 watts of inputs from your solar system, it would easily charge three batteries and even the maximum of four batteries uh, in just a couple hours of sunshine. 
The real purpose of this video is to talk about the ROI, the return on investment that you may see from a system like this. At first, it seems like it's very expensive, but I'm gonna kind of show you this in a breakdown of how long it would take you to recoup your money and then have free energy going forward after that. So bear with me for just a couple more minutes. We'll head over to my computer and we'll take a closer look at a uh, spreadsheet that I created to be able to explain this a little better. I have a lot to cover on this ROI because we need to understand how much everything costs, how much your electricity costs, uh, how much you can consume. Uh, all, there's a lot of different factors in this, but I'm just going to give a general rundown of how fast you can get it back and try to use numbers that are really realistic um, to maybe places that have higher electricity. And I'll even use my rate, which is extremely low. And we'll see how long it takes to get the uh, money back in a system like this. So over on the Blue Eddy website, we have the EP800 with three B500 batteries. That's exactly what I have in the garage. And that's $11,999. Now, there are potential incentives that can bring that down to $8,399.30. And what that's referring to is over here on the IRS.gov website, it tells you that the residential clean energy credit equals 30%. So they're calculating that this 70% of this cost here, which brings it down to $8,399.30. I can save you even more money over on my spreadsheet, put this discount code in here, and I'll leave it in the link in the description below as well. But if you use just an EP800, you'll save 5% uh, off the total cost of the EP800 system that you purchase. So rather than being $11,999, it will be $11,399.05. And then after your federal income credit, then you're going to have $7,979.34. So that drops that significantly from uh, basically $12,000 to below $8,000. So you just saved $4,000 right there. Now, your tax credit, how you get that back, that's something that relies strictly on your income taxes and your situation. I would explain this with my solar system, but this is just something you'll have to look into further with your tax situation. Now, I also thought it was fair that we add in solar panels, a rock kit, and consider wiring conduit and boxes. If we purchase, and this is a pretty good uh, deal, and you can find these deals very uh, available online, and I'll leave a link in the description below for these as well. These solar panels are $108 a piece over here, and this is insane how much these have come down, but we're talking $108 for a 400-watt bifacial solar panel. Now, that means 400 watts. I got bifacial solar panels, 400 watts, and sometimes they overproduce uh, more than uh, 400 watts. So these are really good. Now, that is going to take into consideration at 9,000 watts. So we need to build a system very close to 9,000 watts. So if we take uh, 400 and times it by 22, we're going to get 8,800 watts. So we can buy two more of those and be well over 9,000 watts, but we don't want to go over the 9,000 watts that the system can handle. So I did it at 8,800 watts, 22 panels. That brings us at 2376 without a credit. With a credit, that's 1663.20. And now we need to go get a rack kit to put those panels on. So over on um, Signature Solar's website, we can see that the panel rocking kit right here that can hold four panels each. And if you've got oversized panels, you might have to buy an adapter, which are $11 a piece. But for sake of this, we're going to save $279 uh, to hold four panels. So we're going to need six of those. And that brings us to $1,674. With our tax credit, we'll have $1,171.80 in the system. Our, our for a rocking system. Then I wanted to take in consideration that we're going to need wires, conduit, and boxes, and just miscellaneous items. I added another $500 in that. That could be plus or minus some, but you do get a tax credit on all equipment that is related to your solar system. So that would bring that from $500 down to $350. Now let's talk about the total costs of this. Without the credit, you're at $15,000. $949.05. 
with the credit that would bring it down to $11,164.34. And what this means is you have got a solar system of 8,800 watts with 15 uh, kilowatt hours of backup um, with your batteries. You have the inverter, you have your solar panels, and your racking kit. You have a complete solar system for $11,164.34. Now, we need to find out how much energy in your area costs. I just did a quick research for California, and I found this right here that said it was $0.72 cents, uh, per kilowatt hour on peak hour. That seems extremely high to me. Uh, Mid-peak hours is $0.53 cents per kilowatt hour, and off-peak is $0.35 cents kilowatt hour. So the top up here says it's $0.33 cents kilowatt hour. So in my spreadsheet, I actually used something even lower and went with $0.30 uh, cents per kilowatt hour. And this is how I come up with the ROI number. So I'm just going to say on average of four sunlight hours per day, and you can have a maximum of nine kilowatt hours of production or nine kilowatts of production. Well, that's going to bring us to 36 kilowatts uh, per day that we can create. And then, which is a monthly average of 1,080. And that's going to save us with our cost being at 30 cents per kilowatt hour. That's going to put us at $324 per month that we could be saving off of this, right? So if we use that number, we can repay this with the tax credit in 34 months. That's less than three years, 2.9 years. So let's bring this down to uh, more reasonable, let's say 12 cents uh, per kilowatt hour and say sunlight is four hours. Now, these are extremely low because with my uh, solar system, it's 10 kilowatts, but I'm only producing around 7,900 watts out of that because the micro inverters reduced it down for their peak efficiency. Uh, but out of that 7,900 watts, sometimes we can produce up to 60 kilowatts in one day. So these are really um, low numbers. So four kilowatt hours at nine uh, maximum that we can do is 36 is 100 or 1,080 a month. At 12 cents, we're saving $129.60. That puts us at a return in 86 months. That's at a very low cost. So let's go to 24 cents and just kind of get a better idea. That puts us at three years and basically three and a half years at 43 months. So you can see how the return on investment with this uh, can come back really quickly. Let's go and put the 30 cents back in here. Let's do 33 because that's what the uh, Google tells us. We can actually get a return on investment in 31 months, 2.6 uh, years. That's crazy. And now if we take out the solar panels, um, the rocking kit and the conduit and the wires and boxes, and we just think about the EP800 with the batteries, our return on investment comes back to us in 22 months. So um, this is almost a no-brainer for me because you can get your money back by buying something up front. You'll get your money back in this short amount of time and then everything after that. You're producing electricity that doesn't cost you anything. Thanks for hanging out with me to the end of the video. Hopefully I was able to teach you something about the EP800 and the B500 batteries that maybe you didn't know before watching this video. That's my overall goal is to at least teach you something throughout my video, some type of content that is useful for you. If it was, be sure to smash the thumbs up button because it really does help me out a lot. I really do appreciate it. I wanna say thank you to all my subscribers and for everybody that comments on my videos. I do my very best to respond to every comment on any video that I ever put out. So if you leave a comment or you got a question about the EP800, be sure to leave a comment below. Check out all of the links in the description below. I got links to everything that I mentioned in the video so it's easy for you to find. And if you want to save a little bit of money, be sure to use that discount code if you're looking to buy an EP800. I hope to catch you in my next video.